In this content, we will talk about the HIMARS rocket system. The design and specification of the missile and most importantly how the precision missile works in coordination with the F-35 fighter jets. Leaving politics aside, let's get straight to the content. Developed for the American Army in the late 1990s, the M142 High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, HIMARS is a light multiple rocket launcher that is installed on a family of medium tactical vehicle. The HIMARS is a lighter version of the M270 and the solution is a fielded, combat-tested, highly reliable system that has surpassed all performance standards. When compared to the M270, it takes less time from point A to point B. The HIMARS carry one missile pod, whereas the M270 carries two pods. Let us look at parts and specifications of the HIMARS technology. The HIMARS is made up of a carrier, the automobile section called the M1140 truck frame, and a fire control system, FCS, that computes all fire mission data and a launcher loader module LLM portion that executes all fire mission-related tasks. The HIMARS vehicle has a length of 23 feet or 7 meter, with a width of 7 feet 10 inches or 2.4 meter, and it has a height of 10 feet 6 inches. The vehicle weighs approximately 10,886 kg, which is pretty light for a rocket launcher carrier. HIMARS is operated by a crew of three, a driver, gunner, and a commander, but the computer-based fire control system enables a crew of two or even a single soldier to load and unload the system. Now let us look at tactics and maneuvers and the process of how it is launched as basic as possible. Step 1. Lockheed C-130 Hercules aircraft transports the HIMARS to the desired safe location. When loaded, it can roll onto a C-130 transport aircraft and is operational within 15 minutes of landing. Step 2. Crew unloads the HIMARS along with the reloader and launchers. Step 3. The HIMARS Battalion will travel to almost 70 kilometers or 40 miles close to the front lines. Step 4. Control and Command Center send designated targets to be destroyed. Step 5. In high-threat circumstances, HIMARS uses a shoot-and-scoot capability to increase crew and platform survivability. HIMARS' ability to deploy, shoot, move, and reload in a few minutes significantly hinders an enemy's ability to find and target HIMARS. Step 6. The HIMARS will then conduct reload operations with the use of a reload arm assembly to stack up six rockets of different caliber. There are different types of missiles, but for now we will look at Lockheed Martin Precision Strike Missile. Let's dive into how this works in a simulated battlefield environment. F-35 jets will conduct reconnaissance missions to track and destroy enemy targets that it sees as a threat to the Allied forces using the ANASU-239 electronic suite, already animated in our recent content, F-35 Stealth Fighter Jet if you wanted to know more. This is the F-35 aircraft, which is on a deep strike mission and around 300 kilometers away from the target. The target is a hostile surface-to-air missile, SAM, target number one and also a soft target number two which is a forward refueling pod. This proves that it could strike multiple targets at the same time. The F-35 designates hostile targets and sends the coordinates to the Combat Air Operations Center calling for an extended field artillery brigade. The HIMARS battalion is being alerted and within 15 minutes the HIMARS will load two precision missiles and move to a suitable location. Inside the HIMARS are two precision strike missiles ready to fire at a punch of a button. The precision strike missile was developed by Lockheed Martin with a length of 156 inches and a diameter of 17 inches with a new rocket motor, insensitive munition high performance. This is the optimized warhead and inside it are preformed fragments. This GPS antenna is one of the brain for precision strike missile. Now this available volume was intentionally made to give room for future growth, to store further additional warheads or tracking and targeting software. The HIMARS fire two of its missiles at very short intervals to increase the element of surprise. This is a two precision strike missiles on its way to the two targets. The missiles use the GPS updates to ensure accuracy to travel to the target number two arming and refueling point, and then reaches the hostiles as AM site, which was target number one. This optimized warhead uses preformed fragments to increase lethality and maximizes area effects. 
So please kindly subscribe for more contents like these and help us reach the 1 million subscriber mark. Till then watch our recent humble content to learn more about military engineering.